Number eight. What is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And what's the conjugate base of each? Then we have letter E. So in this case, we have to find the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of HSO3 minus. If you can find a conjugate acid and a conjugate base from a single ion, that means that in some situations, this can act as an acid, and in some situations, it can act as a base. I kind of know this because anytime that you see a H in the front of an I of a an ion, that's going to tell you that it's going to be acidic. And then if it's an acid, you could find the conjugate base. On the flip side, if you see negatives in the back, that represents that it could be basic as well. And if it's a base, you could find the conjugate acid. So HSO3- minus has both of them. So we got to find out what the conjugates are. So let's go. I'm first going to say, okay, let's pretend that HSO3 can act as an acid. Let's find that conjugate base. Remember, bases are just one less hydrogen than its acid. So all you got to do is just lose one hydrogen. Find the hydrogen and get rid of it. So in this case, there is only one hydrogen. So boom, goodbye. All the other elements come along for the ride. So it's just SO3 now. Now you just have to correct the charge. When you're removing a hydrogen, you just minus one from the total charge. So there was a charge here. It was a negative one, right? So all you got to do is come over here and say, okay, it was a negative one. I lost a hydrogen, so I'm going to subtract one. Negative one minus one is a negative two. And that's the charge of sulfite. You might recognize this polyatomic ion. And sometimes it's just best to memorize polyatomics because the charges are always going to be the same. This is your conjugate base. I'm just going to write con base for short. Now, let's pretend that the HSO3 minus 1 was a base. Then we can find the conjugate acid. So HSO3 minus. On the flip side, an acid is always one hydrogen more. So all you got to do is just gain one hydrogen. There was only one hydrogen, so bump it up. Now it's going to be two hydrogens. All the other elements come along for the ride, so SO3. And now you just have to correct the charge. So if you gained a hydrogen, you plus one to the overall charge. It was a negative one, so negative one plus one. Negative one plus one is neutral, no charge, zero. And that is your conjugate acid. And there you go. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously, and I thank you so much for that. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.